don't, that I actually don't do anything today. I'm not just going to sit on the, as, as pleasant as this meditation can be, and I can sit quietly and feel that peace, and I can maintain it for quite some time as I'm sitting quietly. It's not saying that I'm not going to do anything. It's saying I don't have to do anything. In other words, I am not compelled. I am not compelled. I am not forced. What does that mean? It means that I don't have to go to work. I don't have to get up and take a shower. I don't have to brush my teeth. I don't have to be pleasant to anyone around me. I don't have to be firm with those people who need firmness. I don't have to do any of that. We go back to this idea of choice. I'm going to decide. I'm going to decide what I'm going to do. From this place of quietness, I'm going to decide. I'm going to decide that I'm going to go to work. And I'm going to decide why I'm going to work. I'm going to decide why I'm doing all these other little things. And so, and, and also, this is so important, is to come back to this, to the idea that what I'm doing here is I'm establishing a center of peace in me by choice. I am saying, and what I wrote in the tweet that I sent out this morning was that the, the heaven is a state of mind which is generated in the heart. So the kingdom of heaven is a state of mind. We remember the story I told was years ago, like it's now it's been probably 50, no, no, it's at least 10 years that the Pope uh, was given a homily and he told the people who were there listening, he told them that hell was not a place, which is probably very confusing to them. He said, it's more like a state of mind. And we know what the state of mind is, that hell is the state of mind of separation. So likewise then, heaven is a state of mind. And it's a state of mind of oneness, of all of us being one and together. Now further, when we finally get to the truth, heaven transcends all of our ideas about it. Heaven transcends everything that we have ever thought about or tried to conceive of it, but it is a state of mind generated from the heart, in other words, coming from love. It is a state of mind that comes from love, a state of total unity of all life that comes from love. And just as the first thing that we were talking about in the meditation this morning, it is for us a progressive realization. And the fact is that as long as we're in this world, as long as we are worldly, we will not have the full experience. But it begins with saying it. It begins with repeating it over and over again. Thoughts held in mind produce after their kind. So if we hold thoughts in mind of the world that we see and really a world of pain and suffering, they, that, those thoughts produce more things like them. If we hold thoughts in mind of unity, if we hold thoughts in mind of peace, those thoughts produce unity and peace and it goes and it is progressive and it goes by practice the more we practice this new way of thinking the more the experience comes to us so that eventually and this is my hope and my dream that eventually I experience the whole reality the full reality and then rather than being worldly I will be heavenly. That's enough.